Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm Raleigh Marks, bringing you the top stories from Israel and the Middle East every Monday to Thursday on this very platform. And don't forget, you can catch us on our YouTube channel. You can find us at the Israel Brief. All you have to do is simply click on the subscribe button to receive your reminder every time we post a brief. And don't forget to share it with your friends. But after what has been a busy week, let's look at those headlines dominating the papers today. And we start with the lockdown. Israel will head into lockdown from 2 p.m. tomorrow. And this will last for about three weeks and will take us through the Jewish high holy days of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, uh, Simchat Torah and uh, even Sukkot. And the mood in the country is a little bit frustrated, uh, very, very sad because this was a time that uh, we all get together with our families and our loved ones, but we have to bring those infections down and they are slightly down than they have been over the last couple of days. But the government has approved the lockdown plan and as of tomorrow, Israel will be locked down. Last night, in a very impassioned speech to the nation, President Rivlin apologized and alluded not only to his transgressing coronavirus laws during the Pesach holiday or the festival of Passover in April, but also to government ministers who had also transgressed the laws over the last couple of months. He also spoke very movingly about unity and that we can all come together regardless of which sector of society we belong to, to fight the coronavirus. And he really, really appealed that uh, we don't judge any particular sector of society for the current situation. And he also had strong words for the current government saying that the people of the country deserved a government that works for them. Some very, very strong words from the president indeed and very, very well received by Israelis. And also well received is the fact that our national carrier El Al has finally got a new owner. He is a 27-year-old Eli Rosenberg and uh, his company, Kanfei Nesharim, bought a 42.85% stake in the airline and this will hopefully keep El Al afloat. And some more good news for travellers, El Al will be resuming some flights to Europe from the 5th of October. But the last story is extremely, extremely worrying. And this is with regards to a survey conducted by the Conference on Jewish Material Claims Against Germany with regards to how much people's knowledge of the Holocaust is across the United States. And the, the findings were very, very worrying. Some 23% of Americans think that Jews exaggerate the Holocaust or the numbers. 11% think that Jews are to blame for one of the grossest, if not grossest, genocides in human history. And 48% can't name a single concentration or extermination camp. This is extremely concerning, especially as we lose our survivors every single day and the levels of anti-Semitism increase around the world and the United States is no difference and the message is loud and clear it's time for a consolidated um, more of an effort in Holocaust education and it begins with each and every one of us. So those are the top stories making headlines but as we head into the Jewish New Year I want to remind all of you that if you're looking for something to do, don't forget to check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. We won't be posting new content until next week because we will be observing uh, Rosh Hashanah both days. And uh, we won't be posting anything on our Facebook page at Lottle Site. But while you're there, give us a like, give us a follow. We hope to get our community up to uh, 2,000 and beyond. And don't forget that uh, we are on YouTube at The Israel Brief. Click on that big red subscribe button and interact with us on Twitter. Follow us, comment, share our comments. We are at at Lay of the Land with the digit 5. And on behalf of all of us at Lay of the Land and The Israel Brief, we would like to wish you and your families near and far, wherever you are, a happy, a safe, a healthy, a prosperous 
new year filled with abundant blessings. Shana tova umetuka. May this be a great year for all of us. And um, from the from all of us here, I'm Rolene Marks. This is the Israel Brief, and we'll meet again on Monday in the new year.